Hey guys, that BV Matson here, and we're going to continue on with the CL350 teardown. I think we're going to focus on the front end uh, during this uh, next set of videos here. I've got a buddy of mine who wants these CL handlebars, so I want to get these out of here. Um, we can probably start tearing apart some of the wiring, get the coils out, the ignition. I mean, we got a long ways to go, so um, there's no consequences with this bike, so we're just going to tear right into it. Uh, let's start with the handlebars. First things first, let's get these roached things off of here. The uh, rear view mirrors, side view mirrors, actually, they'll just spin right off. So you can just grab one, spin them off. Typically, you don't even need a wrench. There is a, you know, there's a spot there. Um, but typically, these things will just rotate right out. Look at how, look at how crusty these are. The glass looks like it's in pretty good shape. You know, probably sandblasting these. Um, paint them black is probably all we're going to be able to do with these. Uh, it's too bad, uh, but these were exposed to the elements for a long, 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 long time. Let's just grab this other one. Oh, this one's a little bit more fussy. So let's just tweak on it. There we go. Yeah, that one fell on the ground. There we go. Let's just swing these off. And we'll take a look at this one, too. This one's going to be pretty crusty as well. It's coming right out of there though, swinging around. There we go, it's off. This one's in basically same same condition. All roached all the way through the chrome. Not much to salvage here at all. And regardless of the condition, we're still gonna put them in the box, because you never know. To take off these handlebars, it's really just these uh, four bolts that we gotta take out. And what you're gonna need is 12 millimeter ratchet. So set it to extraction mode and start working on these. These are should they, these should come free uh, pretty easily. Um, you can see that the handlebars are already loosening up. I can move those right out of the way. And a lot of times you're able to just take these out, um, you know, get them started, and they and they should come out really, 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 really quick. Removing the handlebars no big deal but i will tell you what is a big deal all the wiring that gets stuffed through these handlebars into the different switches on the bike so um, that is not easy i'm not sure if uh, my buddy wants to use these switches or switch them out so for now i'm just going to leave it all alone i'm going to leave all the wiring in place here we go keep track of everything that's going on here there's just a washer here i'm gonna pull that out and pull that one out. Again, we're gonna have a Ziploc bag. We're gonna have a Ziploc bag and we'll keep track of all this stuff. Pull this one out. And then we got one little special part that we really wanna keep track of as well. So that's a little cable, uh, cable stay right here. Um, so don't lose this, all right? Don't lose this, you'll need this. You'll be feeding your cables right back through on that uh, later on. So go like this, lost one of the parts. That's okay. Let's pull this out. And here we go. And on top of each one of the handlebars, you're going to see one of these little brackets. Don't lose these, all right? You're going to need these when you put the bars back on. So we've got the four nuts and bolts. We've got the cable stay. And we've got the other one. The other one fell on the ground. We're going to go pick that up right now. Label our bag. Grab our contents, drop them in the bag. We're going to have these in the future. We can clean all of this stuff. We can actually, you know, use evapo rust to clean some of these up, use a wire brush, clean them up. We can sandblast and paint the, the, the little brackets and everything there. But right now, let's go take the bars off. All right, from here, these bars are going to lift right off. And I tell you what, these uh, CL handlebars aren't in the worst shape. I think that these are actually going to clean up pretty darn good. Uh, so I got my throttle cables connected here uh, through the, the, the throttle. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay. No big deal. But we're going to take the bars out. Bike is starting to uh, clean up. We can also just disconnect any additional wiring that's here. Just pull it off. We're going to find a wiring guide later on and we'll plug it all back together. The handlebars are free. Actually, they're not free. They're for sale.
All right, next step, we got to get these uh, the other side of the collars off. And here we go. We got two bolts here. Again, they're 12 millimeters. So all you're going to need is a 12 millimeter on this one. Now, I've already noticed I got a little issue that this thing is spinning. So what I like to do is just grab a crescent wrench, fit that along the top edge here, just so you got something to pry against. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to break these things free. All right, I can use the frame here. There we go. Got that to come free. So just kind of work them. Um, again, this bike is extremely crusty. Don't want to work this aluminum too much. Um, so I'm just going to spin this around. I'm going to strip all of this stuff apart, um, you know, uh, in the sandblaster. So I'm not too worried about it. It's going to be fine. Now, keep in mind, okay, don't lose the nut that came off. There's going to be one washer, and in this case, there is this ground on the right side. There's this grounding wire. Anybody know what this is? If you know what it is, please tell me. I'm going to put it in the bag. Uh, we got document in the video, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, but then this, it's actually just going to pull right out. So that's what this looks like. This is the other side of the, side of the, uh, the stay. Now, there's some bushings in here that should just drop right out and pull right out. So you also have these two little parts right here. So we don't want to lose any of this stuff. Let's hop over to the other side, see if this one's going to be the same deal again. Crescent wrench works great to be able to do this. Uh, we don't want to bend uh, any of the other collars or anything here, but let's see if we can get this to break free here. I'm kind of using my opposite hands. This is not ideal, but let's see what we can make happen here. Let's push and pull. Come on, baby. Ooh, all right. Come on. Let's break free. Uh, free Willy. Drop the socket. Be right back. All right. Second verse, same as the first. I just switch sides on the bike here. I'm drop this in. Come on. Let's see if we can get that to turn. Lock that on. Should be able to go this time. Come on. There we go. Ah, wasn't that bad. It's definitely stiff, though. So I'm actually just going to hold this. And the crescent wrench typically works pretty good uh, to be able to just swing this stuff off of there. So let's tighten that up. Give her some spins. Try not to mar things up too bad. You could put a little rag or something in there. Might be able to just get this off hand tight. Not sure. Oh, yeah. I can just hold it at this point. As long as it doesn't get too crusty here on the bottom end. We'll see. It's a little tight in here, but again, it's all totally doable. Just gotta take your time. Don't rush. I mean, one of the cool things about working on these bikes is just, you know, spending some time alone, you know, turning some wrenches. You gotta soak up the, the, the good times. <laughs> because there are definitely some very frustrating times. There, there we got it. We're just working this out there. Not lose our nut in our washer. Almost got it. Then we'll have this whole uh, handlebar assembly off. And we can actually start prepping this for uh, cleaning. Um, we'll get the sandblaster cranked up here. One of these days is going to be so neat. Should pull right off. Got my washer and my nut. Pull that right up. That piece is gonna fall right out. And actually this one came out with the with this. So we'll just pull that. There's all of our parts. Let's go put them in the bag. All right guys, that's how you do it. Take the handlebars off. Look at these sweet CL350 handlebars. I really like the style. I really like the little bar. Reminds me of my first like little uh, dirt bike or uh, what were they called? A little BMX bike or whatever when I was a kid. They had that foam bar on it. But they're really, really cool. Really, really simple. I think we're going to turn our attention to the wiring in the next video. We're going to get this mess um, all out of here. Again, ultimate goal is to get the motor out um, and start tearing into that. And then refinishing pieces. Kind of showing you the whole process of, of how you make stuff look new again. But uh, the bars are out of the way, so let's keep on trucking. Thanks for watching this very, very simple, rudimentary video. Um, but hopefully you found it useful. Maybe you were curious how this worked. I hope it helped you out. If it did help you out, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. If I missed a step or did something wrong, leave a comment. I'm happy to have some dialogue with some of you as well. 
Um, I also post some stuff on Instagram and Twitter occasionally, so you can follow along with some of my other projects at BV Matson on those networks. So um, I'm going to go make a cup of coffee. I'm going to make some videos tonight. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.